Hello everyone on YouTube and welcome to the sixth part tutorial of how to model a street in Maya. Now, um, first thing uh, I want to say is that in this part of tutorial we ain't going to model something. Uh, I want to uh, touch a subject uh, inside Maya and it's about texturing. So, what this is all about. First, let's deal with what we have and then we will continue on to this uh, texturing subject. Um, I want you to open the channel box first and I want to organize the scene a little bit more so uh, until now, until this part, we uh, added the buildings and the road uh, to a different layers and so we can turn them off and I want to add those street lamps, lights to a new layer so select them all click on this little icon here, grab this layer, double click it and name it as street lights, okay? Save it and let's hide it and bring on the road again. So, um, as I already mentioned before um, in one of those uh, tutorial parts, um, I mentioned these areas here that can make your texture uh, somehow get, uh, you know, uh, wrong. Uh, it will be hard to texture these areas because there are more edges here and stuff is are going on here. So, how we can fix this issue and what is the easiest way to texture flattened areas? Okay, like roads or uh, sidewalks. This is what we are going to um, <clears throat> focus on this part of tutorial. So, remember when I said that uh, whenever you want to get rid of edge, okay, no matter where in your model, uh, it's better to uh, use the uh, edge uh, edge delete function instead of deleting it just by tapping the delete button on your keyboard. And why is that? Just so, just as a reminder, uh, let me just uh, make example for it. So let's say I want to get rid of this middle edge here. I right click, choose edge, choose this edge, and if I will tap delete, oh, sorry, you know what? Yeah, no, uh, it's not correct, not here. Okay. Mm. Okay, here, if I will grab this edge here and I will delete it, uh, this portion here will be maintained as it is. And the reason for it is because whenever I delete this edge, okay, um, the vertices that it was connected with are still here, okay? This is why you still maintain this um, shapes of edges here okay so undo that and if I will right choose this edge again hold down the shift right click and choose delete edge uh, basically it will uh, give us the same result which I didn't thought it will be but oh let's try to uh, give another example I will just bring on a new plan <laughs> <clears throat> didn't see it coming so sorry uh, this is a plane okay I'm going to reduce the amount of subdivisions here to somewhere like so okay so let's focus on that this is will be the best example so if I want to get rid of the middle uh, middle edge here I can just select it and tap delete, okay? But if I will right click, choose vertices, uh, you can see that here there are two vertices that helped to create this edge, okay? This is where it starts and ends. Now, whenever you press delete to delete an edge, um, you press delete on your keyboard, it will uh, keep those two vertices, and if you like trying uh, after that to extrude it, okay, so it will automatically create lines 
on both sides here okay you see this middle line here okay this is because of the vertex point and also if I will turn this around I have a little bit of a problem to approach this okay so you see in both sides those vertices made effect and they are actually creating uh, a new edges here so if I will undo that and bring back a few steps undo that and bring back this edge and hold down the shift right click choose delete edge now right click choose vertices you won't have those okay lines so let's extrude this this time and you can see there are no lines here so basically it's because there are no uh, vertices points now back to what I've tried to explain over here about those corners um, <clears throat> um, what, at one of those parts of, of this tutorial I um, suggest you to take this plane this roads map okay and basically extract the road itself from the sidewalks so in order to do this uh, we basically need to uh, choose those faces of the road and er everything else just everything about the roads and basically extract it but um, we will still have those lines here okay so in order to uh, in order to get rid of them we need to delete them those lines here the corner ones so right click choose those edges and we are going to delete those okay delete by tapping delete on your keyboard by the way this is what I'm trying to say that we are going to use right now the delete function we have on our keyboard and not the delete edge options okay option so I'm grabbing all of them here see that I didn't select anything else delete those and delete those now the reason why I've I did uh, I, I'm using this delete option and not the delete edge option it's because whenever I'm going to extract this hairy these roads here right now so let's first do it uh, I will grab those control shift to add to selection okay and from here control shift to add to selection this these are the roads and we are going over mesh and extract okay so click somewhere on the work area background F8 to bring this piece to object mode this is are already in object mode and I want to bring this roads up here okay now why we why I actually made this whole explanation is because um, you see here we have rounded corners here okay and this is uh, what I was trying to maintain while I'm deleting those edges and basically uh, this rounded uh, rounded corners uh, maintained rounded just because I use the delete uh, option on my keyboard and not the edge delete because otherwise I wouldn't have those vertices that their uh, their uh, they are here to maintain this uh, rounded corners okay without them this corner uh, just if I will delete them will be something like this just there will be something like this okay so this is the reason why this time I chose to use the delete option on my keyboard and not the edge uh, edge delete option okay okay so that's it <laughs> too much to explain um, let's bring it back to where it was and now I want to touch about about touch another subject which is which is the texturing now whenever you deal with flattering areas like this and you want to uh, edit uh, in Photoshop a new uh, texture for it and basically you have a good nice skills on Photoshop and you know what you're doing so uh, 
one of the best ways without interfering any shaders you have and trying to uh, you know uh, play with the place to the texture or trying to um, um, trying to edit UVs map um, the be one easiest way to do so and apply a texture to this road is basically to go over uh, grab this road first go over edit UVs UV texture editor okay and then you will see this road here by the way uh, pay attention that those corners aren't seen as rounded here okay but uh, let's continue what you can do is uh, basically go over polygons okay go over UV snapshot here down here and then you will get this menu here so I will just expand it a little bit and I want you to uh, focus here so uh, we have uh, a parameters for the resolution okay uh, the resolution is uh, 256 which is a very low resolution and if you want to get more resolution it's better to use um, I don't know uh, basically it should be something like this okay or uh, 2048 okay so 2048 I think it's correct right and that will um, make sure that um, okay let's begin from let's start from the beginning uh, the UV snapshot is actually generating uh, a new file that you can use and modify through Photoshop or any other uh, photo editing application you have and you want Maya to generate this uh, UV map mapping uh, in the resolution you prefer okay so you choose this uh, resolution from here and then you can choose what format to uh, generate this file and also you can go over browse and <clears throat> make sure you keep it in the images folder or anywhere else you want and give it a name like road okay so road save and click OK after it's done you can minimize Maya for now and we can go over Photoshop okay sorry this is the UV texture edit editor you go over Photoshop choose file open you browse to your images and the road file and choose to open it with Photoshop now uh, this layer here for this file is the mapping okay this is the road mapping and what you basically want to do from here is first give some <coughs> black background or some background that you can see those uh, this map and you can determine inside Maya what colors this uh, map guidelines will have okay so right now they are uh, by default white lines so you do want to choose any other background but not white so layer one will be this background and I will change the color for it to somewhere else something else just maybe black it's okay and control she control backspace to apply this background okay um, bring it under this mapping okay and now you can see the mapping and what what you've left to do is actually build the your texture uh, using this template okay this is used as used as a template and you can grab uh, you know a road texture and start to uh, duplicate it and photo editing it and everything you want uh, using this uh, guidelines and after you've done so um, you just save it so let's for instance uh, type in here vertically uh, three three D Hardcore. Okay, uh, I need to change the 
size of this maybe even more let's try 200 okay that's fine and V to apply this and oh, oh okay I see um, uh, it's in black so I need to uh, let's try to give it another color like this and then I can bring it over here to put this in this road and you can maybe duplicate it and bring this one over here and then go over file save probably will want to save it as another file but um, let's don't save it as let's just save I'm not sure why it's trying to save it. oh by the way sorry sorry okay one thing one more thing is you you do want to get rid of the uh, guidelines so hide it and uh, if you want the background to stay black that's okay with me um, go over file save save it as IFF back to IFF um, just hope that it will keep keep it in in the same resolution okay so road copy or maybe yeah road copy it's okay with me save uh, it will ask you if to save it for Maya or Amiga so choose Maya and click OK and remember this file named as uh, road copy okay so basically what you left to do is go back to Maya right click assign first whatever shader you like bling okay and through the color checker box click on it choose file and from the image name just browse to your uh, images name images folder inside Maya inside projects Maya and images okay uh, default okay yeah, yeah so it goes like this Maya projects default images if you have if you used uh, your own project folder make sure you use it okay so road copy you can see uh, just how it looks click open um, press 6 so you can see the shader and voila okay so this is the easiest way I found uh, to texture uh, flattering areas like this um, well though you do want to take in mind you have some maneuvers here you know uh, other streets other road uh, so you probably will have to create a texture that fits this road okay uh, maybe this road will be just one way uh, road and these can be uh, both uh, ways road okay so this is pretty much it uh, also uh, do remember that in order to get a nice texture you will have to determine what the resolution for this file will be otherwise you will get something that uh, looks very low in low resolution and it can be a little bit uh, pain okay not much but if you worked so hard to uh, create in Photoshop a texture that fits this so we probably won't to make things done without uh, making any mistakes so this is it and I hope you enjoyed this part of tutorial I know it's been a little bit uh, side subject for this uh, tutorial but I felt needed to create this okay just so it will help you and this is it so by the way I uh, I yeah I will save this and we will continue with me with you seeing me uh, modeling keeping modeling with this uh, new road we have here okay so uh, that's it for now and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you have any question again leave a comment uh, pass by my Facebook fan page um, share your work if you like uh, I'm more than happy to see what people uh, um, learned from this channel and that's it see you